Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Blast Off for episode 6. Now, last episode, we updated to the newest version of Blast Off, got ourselves a, a pretty swanky new base, and we had quite a bit of problems with Sanity and Heat Stroke. So, as it turns out, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner here, you can see that our temperature is rising just from us being in this room, which is not the best. So, uh, since last episode, I've been trying to figure out where we can go to not, like, boil in the, in the room. And it turns out, pretty much, the only place in this, like, level of the base uh, is here. We can stand over here in this corner, uh, sort of in this water if we want as well, and get ourselves some nice buffs. But if we stand in this corner, uh, you can see the bottom left that our temperature should be going down. Yeah, 37.5, 4.6, 4.3, it goes down. Unfortunately, when we stand over here, it kind of goes up faster than it's going down, which is really not the best. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are lava inside here. I think. If we break this and then break this. Yes, that is where that is where our problem is coming from. There is lava hidden behind these walls. So, what I think we need to do uh, to start with is, is move that lava. Now, I think, for now, one of the best things we could probably do is... Do we have a, a bucket still? I don't even think we do, to be fair. Let's have a look. Nope, nothing in there. Um, hmm, I would like to get rid of that lava because this heat stroke is not going to bode well for us. It, we, it goes up really fast and it takes quite a while of standing in this corner over here to, uh, to go down. So what I'm thinking is we should probably make a bucket. And then once we've got a bucket, we should probably go ahead and uh, try and move as much of that as we can. But I'm, mm, I don't even know if we should do that. I'm thinking maybe we should just instead just try and get rid of it. And just sort of make more lava as we need it. I think that might be a better idea. So let's, let's, let's get rid of this. And we can always make more lava. It's actually fairly simple. We can just go ahead and... Oh, what's... What's something is there? Oh, there's glass there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can always go ahead and make more lava. It's just cobblestone. It's actually really easy to do. So let's get rid of you. And then let's just go ahead and drop, la drop some gravel down here. There we go. That's gone. Uh, I think it's only in... Oh, no. It's in that corner. And I'm assuming it's not in this corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Okay. Let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of the last one in the last corner. And then we can move on to some of the new quests that I want to get into. Because I think we can actually start to do uh, quite a few of the new quests now that we've got uh, most of the basic stuff up and running. So let me just get rid of this. There we go. And then finally this one over here. And I'm hoping this will uh, this will decrease the amount of heat struck that we get. Uh, of course, we, still, we do still have some lava down there in the form of our cobblestone generator. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that the, uh, the furnace, whilst on... Also has a similar effect to where it sort of uh, heats us up. I'm going to get rid of that torch because flipping egg torches are no good either. But then again, now I think about it. Actually, no. No mobs are going to spawn up here. We should be fine. Uh, how are we doing for heat? 38.6. Uh, oh, it's going down. It's going down. So as long as we're in this corner of the room, which is okay because this is where our crafting table is, we seem to be okay. Good. All right. So if we have a look into our quest book, we have uh, quite a few quests to do now. So we've got uh, a lot of quests that are unlocked, including the hydration, the draws, the meteors, the, cru the crucible tech, the nature route, the lumber axe, and a couple of the mod quests, most of which I think we can knock out this episode. So starting off with hydration, this thing just requires a cauldron, which is just a iron. And actually for this, we get quite a bit of stuff. So in order to get iron, I think... I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can cook up our metals inside the crucible. So let me try this. Okay, that works. Good. So the way we're going to get that out of there, though, is the same way we did it before. And that's going to require us moving over here because it's flipping warm over there. And that's going to require us to get a faucet like uh, we did last time. And if you have a look, faucet... It's this guy over here. The recipe's been changed. It now just requires three bricks and a glass, which should be fairly easy. Uh, do we have any clay left? I think I saw some in here. Uh, we have one clay ball there, but that's not quite going to be enough. So, what we're going to have to do is grab some water. And I'm just now realizing we probably shouldn't have thrown our, our stuff in there. Um, now, however... If I'm not mistaken, people did say that this water over here is actually an unlimited source of water if we use water bottles. And it is. Nice. So, wow. Is that a glitch or is that supposed to be like that? Either way, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. That's a, that's a nice feature we've got right there. So, now we've got that, we can go ahead and throw this in here. This is going to make getting clay really, really easy. All we've got to do is grab ourselves some, uh, some gravel, grab the hammer, which it doesn't look like we have. However, on the bright side, if we look in our quest book in just a second, there is a quest to make ourselves a stone hammer. So, let's go ahead and do this. Boom, and look inside our quest book, and we should be good to go. Which one was it now? It was this one. There we go, look. 
uh, stone hammer, and we get ourselves a meteor time detector and a meteor shield, which are probably going to come in useful if we ever get attacked by meteors. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff we don't need for now. Factory blocks we don't need. Tyrion we don't need. All right, Clem Ward. <laughs> I, think I completely forgot about the new music. Dum -dum -dum. So now we get a Meteor Shield. And for those who don't know, the Falling Meteors mod, we had it in Feed the Beast Monster. And it can be pretty scary. It can be pretty scary. So basically, what it does is Meteors just fall from the sky and kind of explode upon impact. So we're going to put this down uh, up here on our top level. I'm going to put it right about here. The Meteor Shield is charging, apparently. And if we use this, I think it tells us where like, the next Meteor is going to take place. I think if we follow sort of the the blue lines but i'm not gonna do that just yet we're gonna get rid of f7 because i know it kind of annoys people when i leave that on and we're gonna move on with some of the other quests for now so uh, let's have a look in our quest book we need to get some gravel and uh, some dust even let's get rid of you doop doop and doop and we'll do the same thing again And that should be good enough. So we'll get that. Uh, one should be actually fine, to be fair. We only need three of these things. So we'll get rid of you. We're always going to need more clay, though. So we'll keep all of the rest of it. And we'll go ahead and smell this up. So we'll throw that into here. One, two, three. That's good. Start smelling that up. Uh, we'll get ourselves some sand so we can make some glass. Thank you very much. And we'll throw that into there. Like so. And I'm assuming we're going to start heating up again. So I'm going to move over here. Uh, whilst we have a look at some of the other quests. So, we've got this one done. We have got the water almost done. We just need to get ourselves uh, some iron, which means actually we should probably go and whilst it's daytime, have a fly around at some of the local pillars and see if we can get ourselves some more iron using our candy cane pickaxe, which is this guy over here. And I think we also need a bunch of... Oh my goodness gracious me. Jeez, I did not expect anyone to be out here. <laughs> gosh, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Oh gosh, red meteor gems from meteorites should make this shield stronger. Okay, so we can find, if we, uh, okay, so if meteorites drop, if we find some that have dropped already, and we grab some red meteorites from them and add them to our shield, it uh, it should make them stronger. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Whew, I didn't expect mods to be out there. But uh, also, we should probably be collecting uh, zombie brains as well, because if we go have a look at this quest, it's been changed to only require 8 copper, some coal, and some zombie brains, 16 of them. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and start mining. We're going to need to get ourselves a bunch of copper, a bunch of iron, and some coal if we can. And I think I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, we got ourselves quite a bit of iron, actually. We got 27, which I believe we can then sort of make into about 13. If we do this, uh, which I think we have to do in a crafting table, like this. Yeah, so that gets us 13 iron ore, which we can then go ahead and throw into there in a second once we get our faucet, which we can make using the bricks and the glass. There we go. We'll take both those, and we'll do something like this. Boom, 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 and boom. Gets the faucet. Nice. So to combine with that, we also need a thingamajig, which we'll get in a second. I'll put that there for now. Uh, we also need a casting table now. Let's have a look. Casting table. Did the recipe change for this? It did. So now all we need for that is bricks. So what we can do is we can go ahead and grab our clay again, which is somewhere. I swear we had more clay than that, but okay. Okay, that works. We can go ahead. Oh, we got more dust, didn't we? All right. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff we're not all using right now, like torches, uh, sticks, bones, enchanted bones. We can get rid of all these. We should probably only carry one of those around at a time instead of all of them. Uh, that's probably for the best. But uh, let's get all of these glasses out. Let's get as much water as we can, because that way we can sort of um, do this a couple of times over. And also, we should probably drink some of this stuff as well. Because our thirst is not doing great. Thankfully, our, our heat is doing okay. We didn't get hurt. We didn't get like too hot out in the sun. And we didn't find any copper either, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, we can always go back out tomorrow and try and find some more. Let's do that. And that. Thank you very much. And yeah, we can do this. And this. Nice. So, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think that we can put alloys into the crucible. Which is a bit of a shame because it means that if we want to get a cast, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves some gold. Now, can an iron pickaxe mine gold is the question. And f actually, for, the, for that matter, can we, can we even get an iron pickaxe? Hmm. Let's have a look at the quest book. The quest book usually gives some good insight as to where we're supposed to go next with this. Because if we wanted to progress past... If we want to get iron ingots, we would need an iron. We need an ingot cast, and in order to get an ingot cast, we usually have to put an ingot into the um, casting basin and all the casting table, sorry, and then just let uh, some material run over it. However, 
molten alum uh, aluminum brass, which I don't think we can actually make inside the crucible. I don't think that works. And even if it was to work, no, it wouldn't work. We'd have to put gold in there. And in order to get gold, we have to have a pickaxe that can mine gold. And as far as that goes, I, I don't think... Actually, hmm, let's have a look. If I have a pickaxe, can an obsidian pickaxe mine gold? Is the question. For some reason, I don't think it can. It says mining gold obsidian. It might be able to. We're going to have to try that. Okay. So, we're going to move on to obsidian. Uh, this is a good. This is useful either way because if you look down here, the lumber axe that we're going to make requires us to have two obsidian parts. So, we're going to need quite a bit of obsidian, uh, quite a bit of obsidian anyway. So, you know, we're probably going to lose the iron in there. That's a shame. But that's fine. We can live with that. So, if we're going to do this, we're going to need quite a bit of cobblestone. And what we're going to have to do is smelt that cobblestone into stone and get ourselves a stone barrel. So, we're going to have to put up with the heat for a little bit here. And, and get ourselves some of this cobblestone. I think we need nine pieces in order to make a stone barrel. And what we can do then is we can put lava into the stone barrel, pour water over that lava, and we should get ourselves a um, a piece of obsidian, which we can then just right click, take, and use how we want. So, uh, how many do we have? We got six, three more, and we're going to try not to overheat here. Come on, come on. Don't, don't get heat struck, because heat struck is really hard to get rid of. Oh, that was it, but he got taken away from us. <laughs> no! Thank you. And then we're going to run away before we get heat struck. We're going to throw that into there. We're going to take those out. We're going to make a casting table like that. We can throw you down just here. We have to be fast with this. But let's get rid of you. And quickly replace it with that. There we go. And then we're going to stand over here for a little while while we wait for that stuff to smell up. And I'll be back in a second after we do this. Because I think what we're going to have to do next is try and grab this back. Because we do have Molten Iron in there. It's a shame that we're going to lose it. But we have to do this in order to get ourselves some more lava. Whew. I was scared we were going to lose that then, but that's fine. What we can do is we can put that there, and we can start to fill this up with normal cobblestone. So we have to mine even more cobblestone. We are in serious heat struck territory right now, and this is not good. This is not good. Because we are going to need one block of lava for every piece of obsidian that we get. So we're going to need quite a bit of lava. So we'll take four of these for now. And we'll throw all four of those into there. Like that. Whilst that's doing that, we should probably get ourselves a little bit more clay. So we can make a clay bucket. So we'll go ahead and break some more of this stuff down. Like so. And again, so I'll do this thing. Boom. Boom. And then we'll take some more of these. And break these down, make ourselves some clay buckets, and then we'll kind of just wait for the, the stone to smelt, wait for the lava to finish. I Hopefully it won't take too long this time, because now we are over lava, so it should go. What the heck was that? There was like a, a horn that just went off, and sort of like... I, I'm scared. I'm scared that just sort of like sounded all of the zombies in the nearby area. I'm, I don't know what that is, but I'm, I, I don't like it. Um, hopefully this shouldn't be too slow because instead of going over the furnace, we are going over lava. So that should be pretty fast. Uh, that is done. So what we can do now is make slabs and then do something like this to get a stone barrel. Nice. And then we can go ahead and throw this one down next to our, uh, our oak barrel. That should be fine. And I think one of these rewards actually has uh, a piece of netherrack as a reward. Let's see, which one was it? Uh, doo -doo -doo. It might have been this one. Yeah, we get to pick either Netherrack, uh, Flint Steel, or Water Bottles. We'll probably take... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we should take the Netherrack, because in that Netherrack we can get by just putting Lava and a Redstone into the Stone Barrel, so Netherrack might not be that useful. Uh, it would have been more useful if we were using it for the, the fire over there, but we're not, so I think we might take the Flint and Steel on that one. Possibly. Although, again, it depends if you can make flint and steel the normal way. Yeah, it might not be worth it. So, I think all we kind of have to do now is just sit around and wait for that to finish. We can grab our uh, clay. We can make a clay bucket. Like so. We're probably going to need a few of them, so I'll go ahead and make uh, make two. We're probably going to need even more than two. But we'll go ahead and smelt those up. And whilst we're waiting for all that to do, guys, I'm going to sit in this corner, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now we've got the lava. We can go ahead and do this. Take this guy. Throw it into the stone barrel. That does unfortunately break our uh, fired clay, clay bucket. But we can do this. Throw that in there. I think we can then pull that out with a bucket. Which is cool. And we can do this. Look at that. 
Uh, thankfully, the water doesn't get used up in when you, when you well, the, the bucket doesn't get used up when you use water instead of uh, lava in this thing. So that's kind of cool. And we have ourselves a piece of obsidian, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to start that smelt up again, like so. Uh, we do really need to focus on food somewhat, guys, because I just ate the last two chicken that we had, which is why I've got, like, extreme health right now. But we are we are really low on food. we got some more steak, which will keep us going for a while. We have a bit of sugar cane, which we should probably plant sometime soon. But other than that, we're not doing great for uh, for stuff, really. Uh, let's actually take you and plant this down over here. We might as well put it down right about there. For those who are wondering, I think that's the sound of uh, the meteor hitting, by the way. Uh, hopefully, it's not hitting us. I don't think it is. I think we'd know. Uh, your meteor shield. Oh, wow. So, it did hit us, but we were protected by the meteor shield. Jeez. Well, I guess that was lucky. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's grab some of these zombie brains as well, actually, while we're doing this. Uh, and then let's run away because it's a creeper. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's have a look, actually. How much obsidian do we need to make, say, a lumber axe head? So, do we actually have any of these? Uh, we have a lumber axe, but we don't have a lumber axe head. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of some more of this junk. We should probably make some more chests real quick so we can get rid of even more of this junk because our inventories are getting pretty full. And I know people get really annoyed when I have, like, the most messy inventory ever. So let's go ahead and throw this down like there and dump, like, all of that stuff into it. And for now, we'll just keep some wood on us and we'll try and get ourselves uh, one of these guys. So we're going to need a blank cast to start with. We don't have any of those lying around, do we? We do not. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do something like this. For some reason, ah, it, it annoys me. These uh, Skystone chests from Applied Energistics don't work with most of the NEI functions. So normally what I'd be able to do is use the scroll wheel here to scroll items in and out. I don't know if you can hear me doing it. But then if I was to do it in here, you can see it works. Scrolling in and out and in and out. It works quite nicely. It doesn't work with this chest. So if you ever see me just derping around trying to pull stuff out or just hovering over stuff for a while and wondering why it's not working, that's why. For some reason, it does something when I scroll over that. Apparently, I can move them from one slot to another, but I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyway, let's go back to this. Let's get ourselves uh, another piece of plank. Let's do something like this. And let's get ourselves a lumber axe. Uh, stencil. So if we throw that, oh, well, we've got a bunch of these. Uh, let's have a look. Where is the lumber axe stencil? I have no flipping idea because I cannot see any of those at all. Um, do we just guess? Hey, look at that. Perfect guess. Uh, broadhead axe pattern. I'm pretty sure that's the one we're after. And then if I want to make that in a part, uh, the part builder. Okay, so we need, it says material cost eight. I hope, I really, really, really hope that that doesn't mean eight obsidian. Because if it does, jeez, it's not gonna take us a while. Flipping heck, that that can't be right. That just that just can't be right. On the bright side, if we make some grout, we get 32 um things. So let's have a look. Grout. How hard is grout to make? If we could skip the crucible altogether and go straight to a smeltery, that would be quite nice because that one we can make aluminium brass in. Let's have a look. Grout. Grout is just sand, gravel, and clay. We might be able to do that, actually. Let's have a look. Let's get ourselves uh, some gravel again. Uh, how much do we need? We need uh, just one of each, really. But, it, yeah, we just need one of each. So, sand, uh, gravel, and clay. So, do we have any clay? We have two clay balls there and two there. We have a clay block. Nice. Okay, so let's break some of these down into sand. Let's keep the gravel. And we should be good to go. We'll do something like this. Boom, boom, and boom. Maybe. Nope. Something like... Something like... I'll try this again. <laughs> boom. Boom. And boom. Gets his grout. Nice. And that should hand in that quest. Yes. Claim reward. Nice. And then we can use this to start making ourselves a Tinker Smeltery. So I think I'm going to make this on the layer above. Just because we're kind of running out of space downstairs. And do I want to dig into the ground? Uh, I think we will. I think we will. I think what we'll do is we'll grab our pick. We'll grab both of them. Because the kind of came pick... Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot less doable than it is, but it seems to be pretty doable. So what we can do is just go ahead and ignore that Enderman. The horn is back, and I still don't like it at all. But we can go ahead and get rid of all of these. Throw down some uh, some some uh, bricks there. Did they give us enough? We need nine for the bottom. Uh, I think we do, actually. I think we have enough there to make a fully-fledged uh, smell tree, which is actually kind of nice. And then we can do that. If we go out and get ourselves some aluminium and some co uh, some copper, we should be good to go. I'm hoping that there is some aluminium in those, uh, spi uh, the, in those like spikes of ore out there. I haven't actually seen any, I don't think, yet. But if we do that, that gets us all that stuff. Uh, let's have a look what we need for the smeltery controller. Hopefully, it's made out of brick. 
So we can make it really easily. For some reason, NEI is really slow on this. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, it's made out of seared brick. Which I don't think we can make. Which is really annoying. Okay, so contrary to my original belief, we can in fact mine gold using our candy cane pick, which actually makes things a heck of a lot easier. So, what we should be able to do now is grab our non-existent flipping hang glider and fly back. So, I'm going to go back to the base, guys. What we can do then is we can actually just put some of that gold straight into the crucible, get a cast from there, and then we should be good to go. So, I'm going to do that, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go ahead and do this again in a crafting table for some odd reason. We can do this. Boom. That gets us gold on. Now, I think what we can do is actually break this down like this. Okay, maybe not like that. I think we can do that with iron. I'll, try, I'll test it out in a second. With some ores, you can break them down. I think we might need an iron hammer in order to do that. But if we take the lava out of here, which we can do fairly easily, that's going to go towards getting us some more obsidian, which we can do in a second. Take you out of there. Throw you in there. And then dump both of these two in here. That should allow us to make a cast. So we'll let that we'll let them smell up. Over, we'll let them smell up over there and do that thing. Uh, hopefully we don't need too much gold. It says there only 500 millibuckets of solid gold, which is going to turn into molten gold. So we may in fact need quite a few more. Because I think you might need two. Oh no, it only says 288 millibuckets. So we should be fine for that. We should be completely fine. Good. Okay. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a bucket. Get ourselves some more obsidian so that we don't burn up with that lava being near us. It seems actually like this lava, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be heating us up. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. But we can throw you in there. Apparently the furnace does, though. We can, uh, we can take that out. And then we should be good to go. Let's have a look. How is uh, this guy doing? Uh, to, well, as soon as we get to 288, we should be able to let that out. Which would be nice. Take you. Do this. Or this. Ta-da! Nice. We actually got to keep our... No, we didn't. We made a new clay bot. Flipping Isaac. Jeez. And there we go. We got two obsidian now. Nice. We can go ahead and throw that with the other one, which I have no idea where we placed. But we placed it somewhere. <laughs> so we can use that with the other one. Uh, is it in... Yeah. I don't even know where we put the other one. I don't even know. But that's fine. We can go ahead and do this. You are done. We can go ahead and throw down a brick, which I'm fairly certain we have. Do something like this. And voila. Nice. That gets us an ingot cast. And then we don't have enough in there to actually get ourselves another ingot's worth. So we're going to go ahead and do this again. Hopefully we don't lose the crucible. Ah, I'm so scared every time we do that. That we're going to have to go ahead and remake that crucible. It wouldn't be that bad, but it would require killing a bunch of skeletons, which I really don't want to do. So we'll go ahead and place that back down like so. And then, what we can do is we can grab our iron. Let's just do a quick test to see if we can break this down. We cannot. So, we'll just take the iron straight as it is. And we'll throw it into here. Like that. So, it looks like we're not very lucky with the amount of actual iron we get per ore. And it looks like, in fact, we only get about a 1,000 per 4 or 5. Which is not great. So, what I think we should do is actually, what I think we should do is, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait for this to finish. Once that's done, I'll let the one iron, we're only going to get one iron ingot out of this, which is kind of insane. I'll let this one iron ingot out. The next thing that I think we were supposed to do before we did that, and uh, before we get heat stroke, which we've already got. Ah! The next thing I think we were supposed to do is use this to only make stone. Uh, the seared stone. Once we get the seared stone, we can get seared bricks. We can make the smeltery controller and stuff upstairs. And once we've got that, we can put our iron into there, which should double it, which means we should get twice as much iron. We can then do that instead of using this down here and everything will be dandy again so i'm gonna wait around here guys i'm gonna let that thing finish up we actually got rid of heat stroke kind of quickly there which is really nice and i'll be back in a second oh okay so apparently fluid molten iron accounts for a lot less than it actually should oh no um okay this is good we actually get we got more than one bucket out of it which is nice all right. For some reason, I for some reason I was making the assumption in my head that a thousand miller buckets equaled one ingot's worth. It doesn't. It equals one bucket worth of, of iron. Apparently, an iron ingot is equal to uh, a couple of hundred miller buckets worth, which is nice. So we should, in fact, get quite a few out of here, which is quite nice. Again, still doesn't double it though, which is kind of a bit of a shame. But what we can do now is we can take this back again. We can again break this. Again, being really careful. The loose. Jeez. We can go ahead and do this. Throw this back down. Now we can use cobblestone in here instead of everything else to get ourselves some actual seared bricks. Which we're going to have to do whilst getting heat struck next to this thing. Now, do we put normal stone in there? Or we can't put cobblestone in for sure because that gets us... Uh, that doesn't get us seared brick. That gets us lava. So, let's see. Um, 
I can spell grout. Oh, I can spell grout into seared stone. Okay. So all we need to do is put grout in there. And that should get us seared stone. So again, I'm going to let that spell up, guys. I'll be back in a second. I'll probably make some more of it as well. Okay, again, a little while later, we're back, and we're almost on our 26th piece of this seared brick here, so we should actually be able to get our smeltery up and running if we do something like this. That should get us a controller, this should get us a drain, and then this, along with this, should get us a tank. Nice. So you only need a 22, actually, now that I look at it, we had four extra, but that's fine. We can go ahead and head on up here and throw these guys down like this. Boom. Boom and boom. And voila, we have ourselves a fully working smeltery. Nice. We can then go ahead and take this away. This guy down here. Real quick and hopefully replace him with something like cobblestone. Without losing it. There we go. Whew. And then we can go ahead and throw this guy down up here. And now we can go ahead and throw our iron in here as soon as we get some iron. And we, as soon as we get some lava even, not as soon as we get some iron. We can do this and that. And then take the faucet as well. We might as well do. Get rid of you. Uh, how much How much grout is left in here? A little bit. We can get rid of that. Don't lose it. Yeah, there we go again. Whew. And then we can do this. Throw you back down. Put this again back there. Get ourselves one piece of cobblestone. Get ourselves a fresh bucket of lava. Throw it in the smelter. And then we should be, be good to start doubling our iron. Which is pretty freaking nice. So, what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to end the episode there. Next episode, we will have a full bucket of lava ready to throw into the smelter. And then we can actually start cracking on with a couple of these quests that require iron. Including this one up here. The hydration one. The draws one. The nature root one. We'll go ahead and I'll probably between episodes try and fight some more zombies. Maybe try and find some copper. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen a lot of it. Which is uh, pretty worrying. And we'll try and get some more obsidian. But if we actually need eight obsidian to make that axe board head it might take us a while also sometime soon we might start on some of the other quests as well so yeah thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and i will see you guys next time bye bye